Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My last video was me reacting to my college decision letter coming out, aka me getting accepted into NYU. And every single comment beneath that video was, tell us your stats, what did you do to get in? Your GPA, your SAT, you guys wanted to know all the deets. So here I am delivering your wants, needs, and desires. I broke this video down into four different parts. First one is like background of why I wanted to go to NYU, what I'm going to study there. And then the second part is a little bit of my college application process and like the timeline, time management. And then the third category is my stats, so all the numbery stuff. And then the last part is just like a mini Q&A. And if you wanna see what times they'll start at, look at the description, it'll take you straight there. background of why I wanted to go to NYU and what led me to apply. One of the main reasons why I wanted to apply to NYU was because I always wanted to live in New York. At some point in my life, I've always said I want to live in New York, even for a little bit, I just want to live there. And so that was obviously a main factor of why I applied to NYU. The second reason is because my sister applied to NYU when I was a freshman in high school. And she actually got waitlisted. And that is the time when I was like, okay, no, we gotta get a grip of this. We gotta work hard in high school. We, got, we gotta do this so I could get in because I thought it would be so amazing if my sister and I could go to the same school, live in New York together, just be together in a different state. I wanted to keep that dream alive. And so that's kind of like when NYU became my dream school and I really wanted to go there. I ended up EDing or applying early decision to NYU to their Steinhardt School studying media, culture, and communication. How I came to that decision of deciding to ED which if you don't know what ED means, it's basically you're saying that if I get into the school, I will go no matter what. You're legally like bound to go to that school. When I met with my school's college counselor, she basically made this analogy and said that you've, you've found an amazing person, an amazing guy that you want to spend the rest of your life with. You love them. They tick every single box. It's they're perfect for you. And it just became so clear to me that I have everything I'm searching for right in front of me. I'm not going to look for something else when perfection is sitting in front of me, AKA NYU. And that's when I was like, all right, we're gonna ED to NYU and I was so excited. The reason why I chose media culture communication is because I felt it's a little bit closer to home in the sense of like what I do with YouTube and I don't know, like media culture and communication really resonated with me and like aligned with a lot of my purposes of, you know, wanting to study or go to college. If you are researching a school, the two main websites that I used were niche.com, super, super helpful, and Naviance. A really good tip if you're trying to choose between schools and you just wanna see like what each school you're applying to has to offer, make a grid list. Make a list of everything the school wants from you. So write the school's name, their cost of attendance, if they require letters of recommendation, supplements, pros and cons. I also made another column that said like, is it a safety, a reach, or a target? What is it? What's their acceptance rate? It guided me through the application process because I could clearly see which schools were my priority and which weren't. In total, I applied to nine schools. We have the UC, so we have UCLA, UC Berkeley, UC San Diego, and UC Santa Barbara. We had USC. We had NYU, Fordham, Northeastern, Boston University, and that was it. Don't do what I did. The only safety school I applied to was Fordham. That was all because I was kind of sure that I would get into NYU like a little bit. <laughs> Once you know the schools you want to apply to and the majors that you want to major in and all that fun stuff that you should actually spend some time on because I would say that's the most important part. You wouldn't want to spend time applying to a school and like going through that entire process for no reason. So make sure you want to go to the schools that you're applying to and it's not you're just like applying for the shits and giggles. Start with your personal statement. Don't leave that for the last minute because I think that's the most important piece because that's kind of like your story. It's like what you want to share. It's what you want to tell the admissions officer. It's something that's very personal, AKA personal statement. And so spent a quite a lot of time on that. I started writing mine, I wanna say in September and I didn't finish until like November 1st, which was the early decision deadline for NYU. If you can't decide what you wanna write on, ask yourself these two questions and pick which one you want. Ask yourself, what is the lowest point of my life? So when was I feeling the lowest? What I learned from that, how I overcame it. Or ask yourself, what was the highest point of my life? What was something that kind of changed me and that 
kind of gave me a new outlook. Once you have your personal statement done, which is the first thing I would get done, you should look at your schools, obviously see which ones are priorities, which ones you need to apply to first. What's nice about the supplements of some of the schools is that they literally ask you the same questions in just different words. If you're just literally put the questions next to each other, they all ask the same thing. Like, tell us about a time you were challenged. Tell us about your creative side. Tell us about like you being influential. Tell us about a time where you helped others or your community. All the schools ask the same questions. Almost every school you're gonna apply to is also gonna ask you the question of why us, like the why us essay. Literally just write one, like a literal template of one why us essay and just change the little change the words, the courses that you include, the professor names, the school's name, just change it and it's all good to go. It's what I did for Boston University, NYU, USC. I literally copied and pasted it and just changed out the names. Saved me so much time, but like write a bomb, bomb, why us essay and then just flip it around. I reused so many of my essays for different schools. It's a little hack saves a lot of time. If you are like me in the English department and you just suck at it, I would really recommend you to get a college essay editor. They are super, super helpful. There were days where I literally would meet up with my college essay editor like three times a day or like twice a day. I probably saw him the most out of anyone in this entire world throughout the month of November and all like October. I literally would see him every day and he was so helpful. I'm so, so thankful to him. He really helped me perfect my essays and he was just amazing. So if you have a college editor, just ask around, you know, go to your school, ask your counselors, your teachers, your friends, they probably know someone that can help you. Just very bueno. <laughs> Stats. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my GPA. My weighted GPA was a 4.37 and my unweighted GPA was a 3.96. So I had like a fairly well GPA. I want to say I took around five to six honors. I'm not entirely sure, but you'll obviously see it right here. I took six APs. I'm taking four right now. I took AP Psych and AP Lang last year. Right now I'm taking AP Physics, Calc, AB, AP Literature, and uh, AP Government. So those are the AP classes I took. And then I did not have an SAT score. I did not take the SAT and I'm also grateful that I didn't have to go through that. Those were the main stats and then a little bit about my like extracurriculars. So YouTube came in quite handy with that one. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna name some of the ones that I wrote down for the Common App. So obviously I wrote social media influencer for like YouTube and then I also talked about Instagram. I talked about Soleil which is a jewelry brand that my sister and I founded. I interned at my school's like public relations office, which kind of made sense because like I was doing social media. I did some community service and volunteering through Instagram. I worked and collaborated with a couple brands that donated meals and clothes to people in need, which was super nice. I was vice president of a fashion club at my school. We really did nothing for that club. I also want to talk about scholarships because right now in the month of December, I am currently applying to as many scholarships as I can. And I will tell you this one thing, use bold.org, best website to apply to scholarships. It's literally so easy. I've just been using bold.org and I've applied to like 22 different scholarships. I will leave a link down below. Someone said, do you think there is one main reason that you got in? No, that is such a misconception about applications. I think one of the reasons why I got into NYU is because they could see that I was kind of like a good fit for their school. I love how diverse NYU is. I've lived in many different areas and I've experienced many different cultures. And so I think they kind of saw that and they could see that I could fit into that school and it was just like the perfect place for me. Someone asked what my college essay was about. I'm not gonna go into the details of it. It was actually about Chuck Taylors, like black high top Chuck Taylors. I wrote my essay about Converse and obviously there's a bigger meaning behind it. People like struggle so hard trying to figure out what to write about and sometimes the most randomest things can have the biggest, biggest purpose in your life and can hold the most significance in your life. You know, you could literally write about socks and grapes and tissue boxes if they have a significance behind it. Do you think college apps essays have the same importance as grades or GPA? Absolutely not. 
I totally disagree when people say that like, oh, like your GPA matters more. No, because your GPA, your stats, they're just numbers. Numbers aren't gonna tell the college anything about you besides the fact if you took hard classes in high school or not. Like, they do nothing. I think your essays have so much more significance because that's when you can talk about yourself and explain and just give them a chance to get to know you, whereas a number says literally nothing about you. What to write for the YNYU question? I'm so confused. I'm glad you asked this question because I was confused at first. My essay started off with why NYU and the major I chose resonated with me, like why it drew me in, why I wanted to apply. Then I went into what the school offers and the, what the programs offer. So I talked about, I listed two classes I would wanna take. I listed internship opportunities. I listed their study abroad programs, which NYU has an amazing study abroad program. Like I am so excited to take advantage of that. And then I also talked about a minor and then I just wrapped it all up in saying that NYU was basically the first step into my plan of da -da 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 -da. how long does it take to apply okay so a lot of these questions are about international application and stuff like that i'm not entirely sure but i would like say that the college application process takes about for me and i only applied to nine schools it took me about three months yeah it took me three months to apply and write my supplements and all that and i didn't apply to that many schools and my english like my writing abilities suck. So take what you want from that little statement I just said, because like I said, it's different for everyone. Please let us know about your financial aid and how you're paying for tuition. Debt, I'm going to go into debt. That's how I'm going to pay. Fill out your FAFSA, do the CSS profile. This is a good question. How do you find out which professors to research to really seem interested? Look up NYU faculty or like look up NYU media culture communication professors. There's also um, a website, Corsicle.com. Corsicle.com, very great, gives a very brief like introduction about the class and the professor and like the name. I'll link it down below. That's, those are nice question. What do you think was the most impressive slash important aspect of your application? Definitely my essays, my personal statement especially. I think my personal statement was like the strongest along with probably my extracurriculars. Although I never like played a sport. I wasn't involved in like 50,000 clubs at my school. I think what's important isn't the number of extracurriculars you have, but rather the depth and how much like you put into the extracurriculars. Like I'd been doing YouTube for five years. And so like that's a long time. And so they see that you're very passionate and you're very devoted to that and they see that they like that a lot so don't just like start something just to have like another extracurricular but rather spend that time you know developing what you already have and they will like that even more what did you do to become less anxious while applying um i just always thought to myself everything happens for a reason if you do not get into your dream school that means it wasn't your dream school you go where you're supposed to you end up where you're meant to end up and I will believe in that 100%. If I hadn't gone into NYU and maybe I had gone into, I don't know, like USC, then that's where I was supposed to go. I was meant to stay here. Every exit is an entrance to somewhere new. I will live by that. It helped me calm my nerves because it's also something that's out of your control. If you're doing the best that you can and the colleges can't recognize that and they can't see that and they don't accept you, well, it's their loss anyway, babe. You don't need them. What was the biggest problem during this application process? I think the hardest part of it was picking which schools I wanted to apply to, but with Niche Naviance and that little like grid I talked about, it really, really helped me. Like it kind of solved the problem. Do you think your YouTube channel was an advantage for your NYU acceptance? 100%. I definitely think it was one of the main reasons why I got accepted. I'm so, so grateful for every single one of you because I probably wouldn't be going to NYU if it wasn't for you guys. And I love you so, so much. And on that note, I'm going to end the video because my camera is literally dying. I've been filming for 45 minutes. So I love you guys so much. I'm so so thankful and grateful for all of you happy holidays um i hope you have an amazing amazing day and week i love you so much and i will see you next week bye guys